Okay, short video about uh, electrolysis. So starting point, um, positive and negative ions. We've got a positively charged ion here, we call that a cation. Negatively charged ion is called an anion. And we've got negative and positive electrodes. Can you remember which way round? The negative electrode is the cathode and the positive electrode is the anode. So cations, positive, will travel to the cathode, negative. Anions, negative, will travel to the anode, which is positive. There are two electrolysis setups that you need to know about. First one is the electrolysis of dilute acid or of salt water. In both cases, you liberate oxygen and hydrogen gas so it is a way of making pure oxygen and pure hydrogen gas. You would do well to be able to write the half equation so I've got some unbalanced equations here. Hydrogen ions, cations will be attracted to the cathode and will pick up electrons. So that's gain of electrons, so that's reduction, reduction is gain, and it will form hydrogen gas. Two hydrogen atoms in a hydrogen molecule, so you would actually need two hydrogen ions and two electrons. OH- ions will lose electrons to become H2O and O2. Now we need to balance those. What I've done is I've balanced them to match in terms of the number of electrons. This top equation, if it was just on its own, it could be 2 H plus plus 2 electrons will give H2. But I wanted it to have 4 electrons so that it balanced with this one. Uh, so these two equations are now balanced. You need to have a look at them carefully. But the reason I've done that is to show that if the electrons are balanced, which they have to be because it's an electronic circuit, Okay, so you've got electrons leaving uh, one elect electrode and, and adding to the second electrode and then going around the circuit. So if the electrons are balanced, you get two units of gas for hydrogen for every one unit of oxygen, which is why you get this larger amount of hydrogen than oxygen. It's because when you balance the two equations for electrons, you get twice as much hydrogen as oxygen second form of electrolysis you need to know about is the purification of aluminium. Now, aluminium uh, comes in the form of bauxite. That's the raw material that you get from the Earth's crust, bauxite. Now, you, pur or you treat bauxite to get rid of some of the impurities and you end up with aluminium oxide. So, aluminium oxide is in here. You add cryolite Cryolite is another form of aluminium which has uh, a lower, or it lowers the overall melting point of this material. Okay, so cryolite is in there to lower the overall melting point, and that obviously saves energy. So, what happens is you've got molten aluminium oxide in here that allows the ions to move. The cations, the Al plus ions, will move to the cathode which is down the outside here, and will convert to aluminium. That will form a liquid aluminium which can be tapped off. The oxygen ions will migrate to the anode up here, which is made of carbon, and will react to form oxygen. Actually, the, car the oxygen then reacts with the carbon to form carbon dioxide gas, which is released. Okay, so again, this uh, half equation down here, we've got um, Al3+, plus gaining electrons to form aluminium, reduction is gained, so that's reduced. Over here, oxygen is losing electrons to form oxygen, uh, so this is oxidation. Uh, note on this occasion, I haven't balanced the two half equations.